Hello viewers, so welcome to my channel. I'm Hasha Ali Khan. Last video I have started the problems on assignment. So two problems I have completed in the last video. So you have to remember the algorithm of solving the assignment problem given by Hungarian method. So first step row subtraction, second step column subtraction, then drawing minimum number of horizontal or vertical lines so as to cover up all the zeros. Then if the order of the matrix and the number of lines are equal, we reach the optimum solution. And then we have to give the allocations, assignment. That's it. So before this uh, problems, I have already uploaded the video on theory of assignment problems. Hope all my viewers have already watched. If you have not watched, go to the playlist of my channel. Select the subject of operation research. Select the videos of assignment problem. Be perfect about the concept. Then you can start the problem. Now in this video, I'm going to start the third problem. So hope everybody got the printout of these problems, which I have given in the link under my description. Now, third problem. A certain equipment needs five repair jobs, which have to be assigned to five machines. So it's a square matrix. Number of rows, number of columns are equal. Five machines and five jobs. That means one machine should be given one job. The standard is esti the estimated time in hours that each mechanic requires to complete the repair job is given in the following table. So how much time required? Machine M1, 7 hours is required for job 1, 5 hours on job 2, 9 hours on job 3, 8 hours on job 4 and 11 hours on job 5. In this way, every machine, how much time it will take for each job is given in the matrix. Assuming that each mechanic can be assigned to only one job, Determine the minimum time assignment. So we have to find out how to make the assignment and which machine should be given which job. So we will apply the Hungarian method. First step is row subtraction. Subtracting the smallest element in each row from the corresponding element of that row. The reduced matrix will be as follows. So first of all in the first row you can see the minimum value is 5. So 7 minus 5 is 2, 5 minus 5, 0, 9 minus 5, 4, then 8 minus 5, 3, then 11 minus 5, 6. So first row subtraction completed, second row minimum is 7, so 9 minus 7, 2, 12 minus 7 is 5, 7 minus 7, 0. 11 minus 7, 4. Then 10 minus 7, 3. Second row completed. Third row, minimum is 8, 5, 4, 6, 9. 4 is the minimum. 8 minus 4 is 4. 5 minus 4, 1. 4 minus 4, 0. 6 minus 4, 2. Then 9 minus 4, 5. Next, fourth row. 7, 3, 6, 9, 5. 3 is the minimum. 7 minus 3 is 4, 3 minus 3, 0, 6 minus 3, 3, 9 minus 3, 6, then 5 minus 3, 2, last row, 4, 6, 7, 5, 11, so 4 is the minimum, 4 minus 4, 0, 6 minus 4, 2, 7 minus 4, 3, then 5 minus 4, 1, 11 minus 4, 7, 11 minus 4 is 7, that's it. First step completed, row subtraction. Now we don't require the table. Now we'll follow this one. Second step is column subtraction. Select the smallest element in each column. Subtract that from all the other elements of that column. The so first column, 2, 2, 4, 4, 0. 0 is minimum. When 0 is subtracted, the same values will get. So first column, 2, 2, 4, 4, See. Second column minimum again 0. The so same values will be repeated 0, 5, 1, 0, 2. Third column again 0 is there. So 4, 0, 0, 3, and 3. Then next column. Fourth column 1 is minimum. So subtract 1. 3 minus 1, 2. 4 minus 1, 3. 2 minus 1, 1, 5 mi 6 minus 1, 5, 1 minus 1, 0. Last column, 2 is minimum, 6 minus 2, 
4, 3 minus 2, 1, 5 minus 2, 3, 2 minus 2, 0, 7 minus 2, 5. That's all. So two steps completed. The third step is drawing the minimum number of horizontal or vertical lines to cover up all the zeros. So first of all, we will copy down the values here 204, 204, 24. Next is 250, 25031. Next one is 410, then 13. Next one is 403, 50. Last one 0, 2, 3, 0 and 5. So we have taken all the same values as that of table 2 in table 3. Now we have to draw minimum number of lines so as to cover up all the zeros. Now you can see how many lines we can cover up in a single line. How many zeros we can cover up either vertically or horizontally. So here column wise 1 0, 2 zeros, 2 zeros, 1 0, 1 0. So maximum 2 zeros are there in 2 columns. Row wise if we see 1 0, 1 0, 1 0, 1 0 2 zeros, 2 zeros. So we can cancel these two zeros in one line in one line and these two zeros also we can cancel in one line so remaining are three zeros but here two zeros are there so in one line we can cancel two zeros now all only one zero is left here so cancel this one zero by drawing vertical line so how many lines are there? 1, 2, 3, 4. Number of lines are 4. And the order of the matrix, what is the order of the matrix? How many rows, how many columns? 5 rows, 5 columns. So 5 by 5. Order of the matrix is 5. Since the number of lines are not equal to the order of matrix so optimum solution is not reached optimum solution is not reached this is the first time we are coming across a situation where the number of lines are not equal to the order of the matrix then what we should do select the smallest element next step Select the smallest uncovered element. Here uncovered element. Uncovered element means the element which does not have the line. This 2 is uncovered. This 2 is uncovered. 4 is uncovered. This 4 and this 0 is covered. We should not consider. Only uncovered element. 2, 2, 4. Then 2, 3, 1. 4, 1, 3. These are uncovered elements. Now in these uncovered elements, what is the smallest element? Smallest element is 1. The smallest uncovered element is 1, right? Subtract 1 from uncovered elements and add 1 at the point of intersection. Point of intersection means when vertical and horizontal line meets, this is the point of intersection. This is the point of intersection. So where the vertical and horizontal line meets, that is the intersection. There we have to add 1. Whereas other uncovered elements, subtract 1, keeping all other values same. If it is covered, don't do anything same values. Uncovered element, subtract 1. Intersection, add 1. That's it. The minimum element is 1. Now next step. This is uncovered. So 2 minus 1, 1. This is uncovered. 2 minus 1, 1. 4 minus 1, 3. This is covered. So don't do anything. Copy it. Same. 4, 0. This is covered. 0, 5, 1. 0, 5, 1. This is intersection. So 0 plus 1 is 1. Here 2 plus 1 is 3. Now third. This is covered. 4, 0, 0. 4, 0, 0 covered. Then 3 is intersection. 3 plus 1, 4. 3 plus 1, 4. Here 2 minus 1 is 1. 3 minus 1, 2. 1 minus 1, 0. Then 5, 0 as it is. Last one, 4 minus 1, 3, 1 minus 1, 0, 3 minus 1, 2, 
this 0 and 5 as it is because it is covered that's it now again we have to draw the minimum number of horizontal and vertical lines see how many maximum number of zeros we can cover up in one line column wise 1 0 1 0 2 zeros 2 zeros 2 zeros maximum two zeros we can cover up in a line in columns in rows 1 0 2 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 so maximum again two zeros are there so what we can do is we can make line this line any lines you can draw horizontal or vertical two zeros are covered here also two zeros are covered right two lines now two zeros are there here either we take horizontally or take vertically two zeros are covered so i am taking vertically two zeros now two more zeros are left one zero is here another zero is here so separately we have to cancel either you draw vertically or you draw horizontally your wish so i am drawing a horizontally this one now lastly only one zero is left so cancel this zero over so how many lines count how many lines are there one two three four five number of lines are five order of the matrix is five here equal number of lines and order of the matrix are equal since the number of lines are equal to order of matrix so optimum solution is reached optimum solution is reached the optimum allocations are as follows now we have to take the optimum allocations assignments so first of all take all the values 1 1 3 4 1 1 3 4 0 next one is 0 5 1 0 5 1 1 3 next one 4 0 0 4 4 0 0 4 and last one 4 next one is 1 2 0 1 2 0 5 0 last one 3 0 2 3 0 2 0 5 same values I have copied from 4th table to 5th table to give the assignments. Now here we have to assign. So how to make the assignment? Check any row in which we have a single 0. That 0 should be assigned. Assign means put the 0 in a box. First row, two zero, one zero is there. In the first row, only one zero is there. So better you assign this 0 and cancel the other zeros in that column and row. We don't have any other. We don't have any other zero in that column and that row. Now check any other row having a single zero. Yes, M4. In M4 we have a single zero. So assign this zero and cancel the other zeros in that column and row. Next, check any other. Uh, I mean assignment. Any other row having a single zero. Yes. M2 have a single zero, assign this zero and cancel the other zeros in that column and row. Now, check any other row having a single zero. Yes, M3. M3 is having a single zero. Assign this zero and cancel the other zeros in that column and row. Lastly, only one row is left, M5, and one zero is left. So, assign this zero. Over. Assignments completed. We have not applied any arbitrary rule. Simply one by one we have made the assignment. So we will have only one solution in this problem. We don't have multiple solutions. Only one solution. Right? Now, what is the solution? What is the answer? Optimum assignment. M1 to J2. M1 to J2. Then M2 to J3. M3 to J4. then M4 to J5 then M5 to J1 these are the assignments total minimum time 
so if we make these assignments total time will be minimum now see what is what are the original timings for m1 to j2 m1 to j2 is 5 hours in the original problem 5 hours then m2 to j3 it is 7 hours then m3 to j4 it is 6 hours then m4 to j5 it is 5 hours last one m5 to j1 it is 4 hours that's all now simply we have to find out the total of these time estimates 5 plus 7 plus 6 plus 5 plus 4 it comes to 27 hours that's all this is the end of this problem so in this third problem the new point we have you have seen is the number of lines are not equal to the order of the matrix whenever number of lines are not equal the optimum solution is not reached we have to go for another step the another step is the smallest uncovered element you have to see the smallest uncovered element is one subtract one from uncovered element add one at the point of intersection and keep all other values same then again draw minimum number of lines that is the new point so totally three problems so far I have completed inshallah the fourth problem will start in the next video.